Joe, were you kidnapped in Africa? Was yes, that sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. How much you have to give up for nobody ransom? Been to Ma- nobody been to Africa more than Fat Joe. Nobody. And you keep going back? Nobody. Yeah, I kept going back. But that was just one part. It was, it was in, and I love you guys, Luanda, Angola, Africa. They had this warlord. His name is Rukinho. Rukinho, when the world, when, when they stopped fighting the civil war, they made him the leader of tourism. Mm-hmm. So it's his job to bring people to Angola. We don't know none of that shit. We get hired to go do a show for the most money I ever made in my life. I go over there. The man don't let us leave. So we, we supposed to go for one show. We stuck over there for like two weeks. And this guy is so scary. They won't look him in his eyes. When they serve him, they go like this. The people there know who the hell he is. So a week later, the, uh, the embassy or the CIA or whoever you call is sitting down because you eat and, and they got one good hotel, right? And so you eat like buffet style. Right. So they come over and they, they you know, they, the, you know, they the feds. You look and they look different. They this and this and that. So they come o- over and give me a card. And they're like, yo, you all right? And I said, yeah, I'm all right. Why? They was like, you know who you with, right? They said, this guy just kidnapped DMX too. This guy kidnapped people. You were a scary guy. I said, I'm figuring it out. He said, you call this number at any time. We'll come pick you up at the parking, at the parking garage and, and, and go. And I'm like, you know, I'm too tough about it. So I ain't want to let him know, yo, I'm really, I, I'm ready to go now. I'm really <laughs> fucking kidnapped now. Like this guy's playing with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I'm tough. Shannon, I'm not scared of no man. I'm not scared of no man. I'm scared of God. Right. I just don't know how to be scared of a man. You're going to kill me, kill me. You're going to beat me up, beat me up. So I had that. Buster Rhymes was in there. <laughs> yo. <laughs> it's like, yo, this guy's talking to me like this. I'm like, yo, bust. This guy, you know, this it's guy different. kill people yeah. out here. We, dip, we over here, man. We can't just chill. Take it easy, bust. Because Bus is one of them, like, you know, Bus is a nice guy, but he bug out. When, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm talking to him off the cliff, like, yo, Bus, like, chill. Like, you know, we could get, disappear and this motherfucker yeah. never make it back. So how, so how did you, so he let you go? We eventually, yeah, he let us go. Like, that's real talk. Like, they, we eventually, like, two weeks later, he let us go. And we finally went home. And I made more money than I ever made in my life. But it was real stressful. Right. Really, really stressful. Has uh, Atlanta replaced New York hip hop capital? We got y'all, Joe. It's a big. Um, we got y'all, Joe. I ain't gonna say nothing. I've always been a supporter of Atlanta. You know, twenty years ago, I moved down to Miami and set up shop, and I always debate whether it should have been Atlanta because I love the ATL. Mm-hmm. Um, and all their contributions. Rest in peace, we go way from Goody Mob up to Outkast, up to the TIs, the Jeezys. Um, uh, Atlanta been running hip hop <laughs> for the last 10 years. So, I, I, man, that's hard for me to say is they the capital, but they, they've been running it for the last 10 years. I'll give you that one. I read that you was about to get in a fight with Roy Jones Jr. Oh, yeah, you knew that story, right? Yeah. Nah, what happened? You know, I put him on a song where I say even Roy Jones was forced to lean back. That's right after right. he got knocked out. And, Antonio um, Tarver, huh? Yeah. And so he came to New York City. And we was having Ja Rule's release party. It was thousands. I had 150 guys with me, Shannon. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. And I come off stage and then, and, and, and when I open the thing, he's standing there, but nobody see him. And he's there with like eight guys. And he got the one guy, Chopper Style, Chop, 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 Chopper Style. So Chopper Style is telling him, knock him out, champ. Knock him out, champ. Like, you know, he's just, he's just hey, flavor you. flave. He <laughs> he's the hype man. He's the hype man like a <laughs> motherfucker. So the minute I see his Roy Jones, I grab his wrist. I grab his wrist, you know, and I'm up on him. I actually got my feet on his feet. You know, I know how to fight, but he was going to knock me out. He's yeah. a champ. Yeah. But I know how to fight. So I, I grab his wrist. 
So he don't boom, bing, real, real quick. Yeah. And then my weight is on his feet. And so I'm like on him like this. And he's like, yo, what's up with that song? This is that. And he got the devil in his eyes. He came there for one and one reason only. He was going to knock Fat Joe out in New York. Right? That wouldn't end well for him. No, no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Right? But I got to get out of this situation. So I'm right. like, yo, champ. Yo, champ. Let me just, that's just music, champ. Right. Champ, I'm trying to sweet talk him. Chopper Styles, like, give it to him, champ. Knock him out, put him off the game. Right. This, I'm like looking at him like, oh my God, like this guy. And then uh, I eventually started feeling, I just told you right now, I'm scared of no man. Mm -hmm. I started feeling like a sucker in a way because I'm holding his hands. I'm begging him not to knock me out. Right. And then I let go. And I had to tell him, I said, yo, champ, you see those guys? It's 150 guys, Shannon. I said, you're the champ. You're going to knock me out. But these guys, they're not going to fight you, champ. They're going to do you dirty. Yeah, they're going to lay you and down. He looked at them. He said, they with you? I said, yeah, they with me. And then, and then he just disappeared. He was like, it's just music? I said, yes, it's just music, champ. And he disappeared. And when he disappeared, they all ran up. Yo, that, that was Jordan Jones. <laughs> I was like, nah, 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 he's good. Nah, 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 nah. What's up? What's up? I was like, nah, 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 nah. Woo, at that moment, I was praying for Roy Jones, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ, I hope these guys, you know, and the next day we got on the phone, it was me, him, and Jay Prince. And Jay Prince told him, like, yo, you bugging out. Like, you went to New York. To, and then he was like, and then we squashed it. I seen him like a week later. It was Super Bowl, right. uh, Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And we drank together. We hung out. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. had a great time. I love Roy Jones. But I, I got to respect him. He's the last American who came to knock me out <laughs> on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He came to knock me out for sure. And then Mike Tyson, you and Mike Tyson was going to beat up somebody. Well, that's an illa story. Um. Uh, you know, Big Palm was crazy, rest in peace. Like, he was like a wild boy. So we did a show. We had 50 guys with us. He tells me, yo, send them all home. Let's go to the tunnel, just me and you. Now, the tunnel was a club in New York where you, you couldn't be in there if you wasn't dangerous. Right. This was... Two bullet minimum, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. two bullet minimum. And it was the wildest spot New York <laughs> had ever seen. Right? Their bouncers make you look like a baby. <laughs> these guys would jump off the roof like these was Transformers, right? Right. Ninja Turtles. So we get there and they tell him, Pun, this is Pun at his prime. He's sold two million records. They tell him he got to take his boots off. Mm -mm. Now, I just told you Pun was like 580 pounds. Right. He couldn't really take his boots off like that. So he was like, nah. But in there, people used to sneak in knives exactly. and guns mm -hmm. and they shit. So they was like, nah, you got to take it off. So it's like 10 security. So Pun is arguing with this one dude. Then it turns to two dudes. Then it turns to three dudes. Then it turns to four dudes. And I'm arguing back with them too. Mm -hmm. So I'm with Pun like, <clears throat> so they say something. I'm like, fuck you. And Pun's saying, fuck your mother. Like, it's just nasty work. So I grab, because I'm always realistic. I grab Pun at one time and I say, yo, Pun, you know we getting our ass whooped in here. Like these motherfuckers was huge. He said, yo, we got straps in the car. I said, we ain't getting to the car, Pun. Like, <laughs> these guys is big motherfuckers, right? So Pun was like, fuck you, suck my... He wanted it, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck him. I know how to catch an ass with him. You know, <laughs> you got to give a guy credit for knowing how to take your ass with Right. Him. You know, staying with your man to get your ass whipped. That's right. that's another level, are huh? you? Yeah. <laughs> like, to get your ass whipped with your man, that's that's honorable thing. Right. Right, so I'm like, okay, we getting fucked up, right? <laughs> so we just gonna talk all the shit we want. So now, out of the ten, it's like eight of them, right? And out of nowhere, you hear a voice We're like, "Yo, pun, yo, Joe, fuck these niggas." We turn around. It's Iron Mike Tyson. This is like two in the morning, with the fucking kufi on. He had a suit on, and he starts taking off his Gucci loafers. Fuck these niggas. We'll fuck them up, pun. This, this, that. Boom. Next thing you know, Mike Tyson, the main one that started, Mike Tyson starts chasing him around the car, trying to fuck him up barefoot. 
<laughs> and the security looks at me, Joe, Joe, stop him. Joe, stop him. They didn't want the man with that. No, Mike Tyson might have came out of jail one week. Yeah. Like this was him fresh out of I'm, jail. Right out. Right out of Indiana. With the Kofi Muslim right. Mike Tyson. Man, that shit was crazy. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.